welcome back to my youtube channel in today's video i'll be showing you guys how i created this event flyer in pigeon lab if you have not subscribed to this channel please do that right now just click subscribe button and you turn on your notifications so that anytime i release a new video you'll be one of the first people to see the video and to watch it okay so without further ado let's get into the video so the first thing i usually do is to um put my size which is um 1080 by 1350 yeah so um i'm bringing in the the other design as a reference okay so I'll just scale this up a bit like this and i'll just um, save it like this on to go into my folder to get the design for my google drive um, if you are looking for the materials i used this folder is linked in the description below you can get everything i used in this design there i use the 3d rotate feature to flip this like this if you don't know how to flip that is the trick to flip your images to the other side okay i'll just reduce this a bit and i'll put the picture here now the picture is not really the main thing in this design but um we'll get to that um i'll choose the color of my background from this one uh, i will choose from here it was a bit brighter yeah so okay the next thing i'll do is just to fill up my background i want to make sure that my background is not looking flat all right so um this has entered so i'll just go and go to the 3d rotate the same thing which i did and i'll just uh, put this here i rotated it a bit i rotated it a bit like this here yeah. then i'll take this to the back of the design yeah all right so next thing i did was to um import this texture yeah so if you want to blend the texture to your background go over to um, effect saturation and make the saturation and the contrast to be high in bits so that all the details will come out so when you erase color you have this yeah so um just increase it a bit and then take it to the back and reduce the opacity yeah so we have this nice um, texture at the background i don't want my texture to be very plain like this or my background to be very plain so i'll add other things i basically like to fill my background with many things to make it less plain than how it is so i'll just um do the same erase color here well erase the black color yeah so i want to make the base of the design dark so i'll add a gradient to it just to make it look less flat okay so i'll take this to the back and then i'll put it on top here like this and then um, i'll duplicate it i'll rotate it and then i'll take it to the top part okay take it to the back all right so we're heading somewhere i'll reduce the pastry of this one bit from the main design we have the details next i'll just start by choosing my font gods God's vibes. Um, I made a spacing in the in the vibes where the eyes are supposed to be because I'm going to put the thunder sign there. I will change the font to the fonts I used. The font, so I'll choose the straight version. And I went over to style and I made it bold. 
I reduce the spacing of the text and the, the line spacing also so I position this here like this still with the thunder sign and duplicated it and then took it back to its normal shape and then positioned it where the eye is supposed to be okay I will go over and add some drop shadows to it um, yeah. Okay. So after that, I will add this final texture to the design. Come here and remove the blacks to so have only the white texture. I will change it to the color of the background because I want to place this on my text to make my text have that um, effect. I'll just scale this up a bit and position it here. I'll go over and reduce the opacity just a bit. And that is that. I'll take this up to the front. Then I added a light to it. I made the light to be yellow. Yeah, just there. Okay. I use the same font which I use for the God vibes to, to do it. A one hour gist on God's love. So I'll go back to style and put the style off. I don't need any textile. I'll change the line spacing and then um a one hour gist on God. Love for the church. Misfits and bad guys. Church misfits and bad guys. Um, okay. Alright, so we have this. Um, I think I'm not getting it for God's love for. Okay. I will go over and put off my spacing here and make the text smaller. Increase my line spacing a bit. And then I'll leave this here. Now, even as much as it may not be as um, neat or as um, good as the original, this is how I came about. It. So you can do yours better than mine. You can set you down to do it. I'm actually doing it fast like this because this is YouTube and. Um, I don't really want to make it boring for you guys, so uh, yeah, that's just it. Um, I'll just be showing you some tricks and tips just here, so I'll not bore you with too much talk and time. Alright, um, I'll change the color to black because I want to place this on a yellow background. Um, I'll go over to text background and then um, increase the padding by. I'll say six on seven. Then I added some radius to it to make it a bit more curvy. Yeah, then I placed it down here. Then the link to it also. Yeah, this is the link to my um this is the link to my telegram channel, my telegram community. The link will be dropped in the link in the description box. Um, do well to join my Telegram community if you haven't. Alright, so I just placed this here and then I brought in this Google Meet logo because the class is supposed to hold on Google Meet. Yeah, so I made sure the logo is very small to fit. Um, yeah, to fit the link, and I copy this illustration link. Yeah, I made it very small and the spacing to be very high. So, so I place this on top of the link, and yeah, just like that. Then I added an arrow. 
yeah i added this arrow i got some pinterest seeds also so you just come and remove the whites from it make sure you increase the contrast also then change the color to white then yeah we have this okay last thing i did was to add this png i didn't want the top to look empty so i placed this png on top right about here and then i wrote um, unconditional love to fit the theme of the event so i made this black unconditional love yeah so um okay from god's love for the church misfits and bad guys i want to check if i'm missing anything i'm not sure okay so um make sure your alignment is set right okay um the next thing i did was to okay let me just set the alignment well then after i set the alignment right the next thing i did was to uh i I merged everything so that I can um, actually do a perspective if you've not watched my video on perspective uh, you can check the link up there on how to properly do perspectives yeah I'm not come back to it so just check that video and after this one obviously so when you check the video you learn how to do perspective to really help you in your designs so just something like this and then and yeah so um the design is actually better than this as you know i'm rushing on so this is all we came up with you can go over the main design and do something better but yeah for the sake of this tutorial this is it so um if you like this video kindly drop a like button so that this video will be recommended to more people here on youtube and um if you've not subscribed like i said earlier please do that right now and share this video to other people who will benefit from this video okay i'll see you guys in the next one till then stay safe